Well, happy Monday, everyone. I'm Shannon. Welcome into HSN. Hey, if you are still calling on our Capillas Today special, uh, continue to stay there. We have about 600 only. I know Adam is going to have that official final presentation coming up at 1030 tonight. In the meantime, though, we are welcoming the king of coins, Mr. Mike Mizak, who I will say in the world of numismatists, I just like saying that it just rolls off the tongue. Mike Mizak, <laughs> did I make you giggle the first five minutes in the show? I certainly hope so. You did, you did good. <laughs> See, I wanna be you when I grow up, Mike. And boy, I, I gotta tell you, here's what people need to realize about you. First of all, in the world of coins, you do things that no one else does. We help partner with you, of course, 30 day return policies. We've got flex pays abundantly throughout this show, which also doesn't happen in the world of coins. <laughs> but um, we've got some special things. I'm, I'm just gonna allude to some of uh, the big shenanigans you got planned for us. But we're gonna start things off with something kind of fun. Now, you know, uh, in, a, in another life, I was a guitar man. I love me my guitars and my picks. I, wh where, what is the story with this? How cool is this thing? Yeah, uh, they were able to partner with Fender, actually. This is official Fender license, and they don't do a lot of stuff, uh, you know, in terms of the licensing world. And so this is uh, for the anniversary of Fender, as you can see right here. So this is the official, authentic uh, Fender guitar pick. Now understand, this one's not like the size of a pick. This is actually a one ounce silver coin, as you can see right there, one ounce silver coin that you're gonna have for the silver anniversary uh, uh, with that, with only 2,500 being made in the entire limited edition, only 2,500 in the entire limited edition uh, for this, uh, like I said, custom limited edition Fender guitar pick. I mean, it's very, very cool. And uh, listen, if, with Valentine's Day around the corner, whether it's that gal or guy who is who air guitars or otherwise, uh, this is really a unique, not only collectible gift presented in a way that kind of tells the whole story for you, which I think is is really really cool. Um, the other thing about this, Mike, and I, we'll 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 do an education throughout these two hours in this special primetime edition of the Coin Collector, is so often and certainly I'm not you you know I do a lot of shopping, whether it's you know, internet, other shopping channels, you name it. It's nice that you provide such an education. But a lot of times, um, uh, you know, these vaults and these uh, different people who license things, if you read the fine print, it looks like silver, but it's not silver. So this is not only collectible, it is silver. And I know you're going to tell this story throughout this show. Silver, hi-ho silver, right? It's... Silver, I, I've been in this business since I was, well, uh, knee-high to a short cheap, I guess is the, uh, is the technical term to, to that. And I have never, ever seen a day like I saw today in silver. Silver has exploded. The same people that were kind of getting involved in that whole, uh, you know, uh, GameStop thing, you know, that whole stock thing. I don't quite understand it all. Um, have decided uh, to some degree have shifted over a little bit into silver, or people think they are. And so silver did things today that I've that I've never seen. And we'll talk about that as we go as we go forward. Uh, just the fact that this is silver, it was made as this was our original price. Uh, we might be the only people on the planet. <clears throat> that had a price on a silver item that, you know, basically when we put it in the, in, in, in the system last Friday that we've not increased the price on. It's, it's pretty um, amazing. We have several, several items in the show like that. Everybody else on the planet has increased their prices. I mean, substantially, significantly, ridiculously, incredibly, <clears throat> because of what's happening in the silver market. It's not just the kind of explosive growth of silver. It's just that everybody wants silver. And of course, you know, now you have silver, you have 2,500 limited edition, you got the authentic uh, uh, fender in this, in terms of the licensing, uh, uh, licensing agreement. This is a pretty special 
opportunity for you to get this. I'm all, you know, and out of 2,500, I get 10 percent of the entire world's supply. That means I have 250 coins, basically. Well, and remember, keep in mind this is a coin. It's not just a chunk of silver. It's also a coin. It is indeed. Hey, also very limited quantity. I know you saw, if you didn't see the quantity left, um, basically sellout edition for us in terms of availability, L little more than 200, 30 day return policy. And then of course that flex pay of less than $60. You know, as I said, Mike is doing things in the world of coin collecting, especially uh, now that you should take notice of. We're going to move to something that I, if you're new to coin collector, first of all, welcome. But Mike, here's a chance where I really want people to to kind of stop what they're doing and just really take a few moments to listen to everything that you have to say about this, um, well, historic moment in time, let alone this particular coin. And so we're talking about the heraldic e eagle, but I'm gonna, uh, as always, defer to you immediately because there are so many things that are going on historically, not just globally in terms of the pandemic and you know all of the you know last and first and all the things that we're seeing happen with the U.S. Mint. Now, Reddit or whoever or whatever is going on. I, I'm with you. I understand the whole thing. Now there's a whole nother ball in play in terms of availability. So I'm going to defer to you to tell the whole story and educate us. Well, you know, I, I got to start from the numismatic standpoint, just the pure numismatic part of it. The fact that in <clears throat> the end of 2019, the United States government decided that they were going to change the design of the American Silver Eagle in 2021. We assumed that meant that the new design would be at the start of 2021, as did everybody. But as well, everybody knows, in between 2019 and 2021, we had a little thing called 2020. And 2020 changed a lot of things. And in the coin business, it changed everything. Because the United States Mint, I mean, obviously the Mint at Philadelphia worked under very uh, uh, strict uh, uh, you know, reduction in staff. They had to close the San Francisco Mint for a while. They had to close the West Point Mint for a while. They had to close the Denver Mint for a, for a while. All of those things. And so what they did to try to do this, say, look, we can't do the rollout of a new coin in 2021. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the old coin for six months, the heraldic eagle, the type one, the original coin, that's the way it's looked since 1986. We're going to do that for six months. And then for the last six months of the year, what we're going to do is we're going to do the new design in the last six months. And while that may have looked good on paper, in, in fact, it has been, well, you described it, shenanigans. Uh, what you have is what we've come up with is the brand-new American Silver Eagle, this 2021 Type 1 heraldic eagle, the end of the era, the, the legacy coin, the transition coin, has become <clears throat> quite literally the most popular Silver Eagle in the history of the United States Mint, and it's not even close. Here's the problem. They're only going to make it for six months. As a matter of fact, if they made it for 16 months, they couldn't make enough. So this coin is the proof Silver Eagle. The Prince Silver Eagle for this year was supposed to be released on January the 7th. Because of the incredible and overwhelming demand of the regular mint state coin, this was delayed for five weeks. The now, the official release date on the Proof American Silver Eagle is now what? It's going to be February the 11th. Well, here's the problem. The Mint has already let the cat out of the bag and said, we're only going to make 325,000 coins, certainly at least in this first tranche. They are going to sell out immediately. They are going to sell out instantaneously. And people, when I decided to put this in and, and we're giving you the opportunity to buy it right now, said I was crazy. Because with only 325,000 with the demand that we're seeing, it's, it, it could be crazy. It could be absolutely, positively, ridiculously insane. And then with what's happened over the last couple of days, it could be even more so. So what we did is we are offering 1,000 of these coins in perfect 70 condition because we know that we're going to get no matter what, no matter what we have to pay, we're going to be able to get enough coins to get 1,000 of these right here, right now. And we can guarantee you delivery, we can guarantee you price, but you got to get in. Now, I debuted this this morning at 1 a.m. We've already sold 400 coins. We have already sold 
400 coins. I have only 600 left. So that's the numismatic part of it. So this is the proof coin, the West Point Minute proof coin, that is finally being released uh, over a month late because of the demand just in general of the new, uh, you know, the old design, the heraldic eagle, the type one, the legacy coin, and all that. So that in and of itself was creating uh, 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 something in the marketplace that was, was very, very difficult because nobody wants to sell a coin until they know, uh, you know, this coin could double or triple or quintuple. Who knows? They not do any of those things. But that's what dealers are afraid of. Now, now, let's add in the shenanigans of the last 48 hours to 72 hours. As you said, these uh, Reddit folk or whatever you want to say have decided to get involved, it seems, in the silver market, or at least people think they are. And so what people are buying is what we call physical silver. In other words, silver bars and rounds and eagles and, and all of those things. I know, of all the people I know in the marketplace, and I'm talking about monstrous dealers, monstrous dealers, today, today, they had the biggest day they've ever had in the history of their business, selling coins. Selling coins. Sometimes on the order of two times, three times, four times, five times their biggest day. A friend of mine in Texas, as a matter of fact, bought and sold, bought and sold over $5 million worth of silver coins today. His normal day is about 50000 bucks, maybe $100,000. He's a big dealer. Today... It was five million plus dollars. Everybody I know, biggest day they ever had. All of a sudden, anything that's silver, people are buying. Well, this isn't just something that's silver. This is something that is the iconic American silver eagle, and this is the proof version of that eagle. Understand, this is going to sell out almost instantaneously from the United States Mint. I have got it in perfect 70 condition, and I have got it in my exclusive Liberty uh, core that you see right here. Like you said, last night at 1 a.m., 400 coins gone, 400 coins gone. I only have 600 more. After that, it's going to be what the market bears. And I can tell you right now, the way it's looking, this number could be 299, could be 349, could be 399, who knows? At 350, 340, I'm sorry, 324,000 coins, it could be anything based on based on the demand not only for this coin from a numismatic standpoint, but anything silver. It is the most amazing thing. I've done this my entire life. I have never, ever seen a day like was today, period. Coins have disappeared. You go to the any of the major authorized purchases. There's one of the biggest websites in the country that sells lots and lots and lots of silver. Basically took their website down for the entire weekend. Wow. They were so afraid. They were so afraid, and that's what's happening. And you can see that out there. They're not selling. They're not selling. They're not selling. Or the premiums. I mean, the American Silver Eagle. I know silver went up. What did it go up? It went up about 10%. But prices have doubled. Because it's not just the silver part of it. It's the fact that do you have literal physical coins? In other words, coins that you actually have in stock that you can actually deliver. Those are bringing tremendous, tremendous in, in, in incredible premiums in the marketplace today. And while this coin isn't going to be released for about a week or so, we are going to guarantee that. And that's one of the things when you come here to HSN, you realize – that when we sell you a coin, you are going to get that coin. You are. It's Mike, I am so sorry. I have to interrupt you for just a moment because um, I know you saw that quantity left at the bottom of your screen, and I promise you this is not to be alarmist, but I was watching you with a good portion of your show with Bobby this morning, and yeah. we have fewer remaining than you sold at 1 a.m. with Bobby. 
And I'll just, I'll put, I'll put that out there. And then remember again, Mike also held the price, even relative to everything that's gone on in the last 48 hours. And then the stuff that I even saw my local news for heaven's sake, mm -hmm. you know, let's just factor the whole silver story out of this and just talk about the, the coin collectability for just a moment. Unless you are joining us now, and I think they might've even tried or were planning on doing an encore presentation of this next hour, because this is a special two hour primetime edition of Coin Collector here at HSN. Let me just encourage you, you should make your buying decision now. And listen, I realize part of um, the value of what Mike brings to us here at HSN, he's been here for over 20 years. I've known him for over 20 years. He's been doing it all his life. It's not his first barbecue, not his first rodeo, but giddy up. I gotta tell you, I know that the last 12 to 18 months has probably even set the the uh, the one and only Mike Mizak even on its ear, in his ear in terms of anything that's gone on you know, within coin collecting, let alone what happened over the weekend, all I can say is there is no back order and there is no wait list. When I was talking about the Capillus Today's Special um, last hour, there were only 600 of those. But let me just put it in perspective. Eventually, Capillus can make more caps, okay? <laughs> Eventually, they can make more more caps. Mike, no matter, he, even, you know, giant kingpin that he is, can't go to the United States Mint and say, listen, I know, you know, the release is, you know, tight. I know you're only doing a couple hundred thousand. I know there's the whole silver thing going on. They, they don't, they, they're the boss of you, Mike. They don't, they, they, you can't say, listen, you, you mind grinding yeah, out a few more of these even, for me? Even a little. <laughs> we really frown on it if we would try to make our own. Uh, you, you know, I mean, that's the crazy thing. Is, uh, and and I, I tell you, I would not rock that orange jumpsuit. So I'm going to go with what the mint does. And with this right here, and so what I was doing just a couple of days ago, okay, was what was the numismatic part of this, the fact that it's been five weeks delayed for the proof coin. It looks like there's going to be probably a single tranche of this proof coin. In other words, there's going to be one and only one of these uh, uh, releases of the proof Silver Eagle. It could be absolutely stupefyingly, stupefyingly uh, difficult to get. And once this goes out, and once this sells out, because this is the last coin in the series, because already the United States Mint, already the United States Mint wants to move on to type two, because as crazy as this has been, and forget about all the silver insanity, I'm just talking about from a coin standpoint, before all this silver craziness, this has been the most popular silver coin the United States Mint has ever released. Now add in all of the other stuff, and now it really starts getting crazy. Because what happens is, is now we're going to rotate into type two. In other words, the new coin. The Mint has already said, like I've talked to some of uh, uh, the distributors, and they said, you know, we are going to get between now and type two, maybe 20 or 25 percent of the coins that we want, that we need. Because the Mint is already saying by the latest April they want to be making Type 2. Because as popular, as incredible as this coin has been, because it's the last coin in the series, it will pale, pale in comparison what's going to happen when the new coin comes out. So what it is going to create is it's just a fact that the United States government will not be able to make enough of these coins. That's just the fact of the matter. They absolutely, positively, 100 percent will not not be able to make enough of these proof silver eagles or mint state silver eagles. You do any type of silver eagle that you can think of. There is not enough coins in the marketplace. There's simply not enough coins in, in the marketplace. Then add in all this silver stuff that's been going on. And so that just puts incredible and additional pressure in the marketplace today. But this proof coin is the one that everybody's going to want. And once this sells out, and I believe it's going to sell out its day of issue, which would also be a record. And I don't think that the United States Mint is going to offer any more of them. I can tell you right here, right now, now, now is the time that you need to lock this in for quantity and price. Because when you buy it here, you're guaranteed to get the coin. You're guaranteed to get the coin because there's a lot of places out there taking orders for a lot of coins that they're never, ever, ever going to be able to deliver. And not only do you get this coin, but you get it perfect and you get it in our exclusive Lady Liberty core holder as well. You, you do as well. So a couple of things about HSN. First of all, 
all, if you're tuning into the Coin Collector or HSN for the first time, welcome. When you see the quantity left counters at the bottom of your screen, remember um, that is not inherent, it's not linked to the method of ordering, meaning we have as many people joining us in the various forms of ordering. You can load that app on your phone. You can call that toll-free number. You can go to hsn.com. There are a lot of great, you can shop by remote. But so remember, we have as many people ordering this as we do have quantities remain. So that's number one. <laughs> Even if you do multiples, here's the other thing. When I say Mike does things that nobody else does, we do still have flex pay on this. He held the price. I mean, just numismatistically speaking, he wouldn't have had to do that <laughs> easy for me to say. Um, but even if you're buying multiples, that means for $83.32 plus shipping and tax, you get this at home. There's still a 30-day return policy. But the big thing you need to realize is no back order, no wait list. And what we have is what we have. So I just, I really want to encourage you. Listen, I know there's a lot of information to digest, uh, much like like Andrew Lessman, and I know Andrew always says the most important thing he does is information. I think the same is true about Mike Mizak. However, I'm pretty much saying three minutes or sellout. Um, in fact, candidly, I'm not confident that it will make kind of that three minute or couple minute allocation. All I can do is encourage you grab it while we've got it. That's the best advice I can give you because at least you know, A, we have it. You're not on a wait list. You're not, you know, hoping somebody gets it in the inventory. You're not hoping it's really what, what you're paying for. You're getting the real deal. You're getting the real McCoy. You're getting the 30-day return policy. You're getting the flex pay, those interest-free payments. And Mike, at the end of the day, um, certainly for someone like me, I mean, I, you know, I'm definitely a novice. I, I always defer to you, but this is a really exciting time in history where if people are looking to join or just even do recreational coin collecting, if I can, I can say it that way, they can make some pretty smart and savvy choices, even if they don't have massive collections moving forward, right? Well, and, and because part of that is this, is that you want to look for certain coins popularity-wise. And, of course, the American Silver Eagle, the most popularly collected silver coin in the world today. Secondly, you want to look for significant uh, events. And the changing in design of the American Silver Eagle is probably the most significant numismatic event of the last half century would be, uh, uh, would be my interpretation of this. Because understand, when they first made the um, – uh, American silver uh, uh, eagle that you see right here, as signed into law by President Ronald Reagan in 1985, it has looked exactly like this from 1985 until the first six months, until the first six months of 2021. It will change next year. By law, it cannot ch or change in, in July of this year, actually. Uh, and by law, they cannot change it again. Are you ready for this? They cannot change it again for 25 years. Wow. So what you've got is what is quite literally, quite literally a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Like I said, this is going to sell out in this presentation that you see right here, in my opinion. I mean, I mean, we're, we're just it's, – it's crazy right now. It is Many people buying multiples. Uh, the I, fact that we have the proof coin, nobody else is even willing to price this coin. It's true. Mike, you kind of took the words out of my mouth. Um, we are not limiting quantities. And I know that might sound kind of funny. I mean, sometimes if we're selling a cream, that's one thing we say, oh, it's got a three-year shelf life. I mean, when you're talking about coins <laughs> and you're saying right. we're not limiting quantities, trust me, that is also not the norm. Um, Mike, I know you've been edumacating me for over two decades, but the truth is even when um, back in the day when you, we used to go to coin shows and that kind of thing with certain releases, it's like one per you know, dealer or customer, what have you, uh, you know what, all bets are off. If you're watching, if you're listening, if you're shopping, do that flex pay, you can do it multiple times. Just realize, uh, I think we have the last 200, give or take, and as many people joining us in the various forms of ordering, remember no back order, no wait list, it's a perfect time to jump in. Uh, I think they were maybe planning on trying to do an encore of this next hour. It does not appear that that is likely, just because um, when we factor everyone who who's placing their order and all those forms of ordering, more often than not, people are getting more than one. So it's actually selling out a little bit faster than um, we might have normally anticipated. So just use that information for what you will. Mike, uh, last 60 seconds, any final thoughts you'd like to leave with anybody? 
Well, and like I said, I just want to I just want to impress upon you. Remember, this is the change in the American silver eagle. So that last coin is critically important. The fact that this is the proof coin, so it will be the rarest of the Type One coins by far at this point. It's made at the West Point Mint. They're going to have with a mint mark. The fact that it's certified perfect seventy. The fact that it comes in our exclusive holder, and the fact that we held the price for this. I mean, I could have gone two seventy nine. I could have gone two ninety nine. I could have put whatever price I wanted to on this, but we held. The price. We're the only people around that are holding our price in the face of what is this massive, massive run on silver. Get your coin, lock it in. It's guaranteed, folks. I can tell you, be a part of numismatic history. Yeah, it, I mean, it really is. It's it's history in the making. And I, I know that you learned something from Mike, but you know what? As they say, the party is just getting started. We are going to continue. We've got an hour and a half. This is a special Monday night primetime edition. Do not hang up on your heraldic silver eagle. There are fewer than 200. We'll let you know when it's officially gone. But Mike has more stories to tell and some goodies that he <laughs> handpicked and curated just for you, whether you're an avid or a new collector. So I hope you can stay with us. What really separates a house from a home? A home should provide comfort, coziness, and convenience. Join me on Monday nights where I'll be giving you great ideas for your home, your kitchen, and your life. Never run out of the things you love with AutoShip at HSN. Receive your favorite items with automatic deliveries and easily customize your shipping preferences. Plus, AutoShip locks in your order price while enrolled. It's the smartest way to get more of a good thing. Search AutoShip on HSN.com. Shopping is easier than ever with the HSN app. Turn on notifications to get shipping updates, exclusive offers, and alerts on your favorite products sent straight to your phone. Now you can share all your fabulous finds with your friends right from the app through Facebook, text, and more. Save your favorite products all in one place. See it, heart it, save it. Download the app for Apple or Android devices by searching HSN app on hsn.com. By the way, making a special appearance on my crew, Deke. I've known Deke. I've known you for what, like two decades, right? He. I love people. Oh, really? He. See, he encourages bad behavior too. Maybe part of the reason I love him. Well, bad behavior aside, I, I love it when I can be on the air with my friend Mike Mizak. I've also known Mike for over two decades. He is the original king of coins, and he really does do things within the world of coin collecting that no one else does. We are the home to, my own opinion for what it's worth, I think the best place to start a collection, continue a collection, educate yourself so you can start a collection. We are moving along to something that is once more historic. And um, if you are joining HSN or Coin Collector for the first time, what I'd love for you to do is keep the sound up. And I know a lot of us, myself included, sometimes I'll turn the volume down on HSN and I'll wash my dishes up and down the stairs doing laundry. You want to hear the things that Mike has to say. Even if you can't be glued in front of the TV, you want to hear all the things that, that Mike is going to talk about. And in the fact, um, Mike, I, they did just tell me that heraldic eagle that we just had out you might see it in the corner of your screen kevin we have a what a little over a hundred okay L basically the last 100 of that heraldic eagle um you'll see it in the corner of your screen so uh mike i'm going to defer to you so let's start with some of the basics for people who are joining us for the first time i know there's a lot going on i've got your big green box that i will show off and I know I, I I'm, I'm I'm gilding the lily at this point I'm not going to reveal why we've got the big green box so I'm going to refer to you to fill in all the details for everyone uh happy to do it so <clears throat> what we had was the proof coin that was the last coin we just sold 600 of those okay the reason that coin was late was this coin so when they first released, the United States government decided, okay, what they're going to do, okay, is they're only going to allow, they're only going to make this coin for six months. The old design is going to be made for half the year in 2021, and then the new design is going to be made uh, in the back half of 2021. Well, what they did is, is they started making this coin and realized quite, quite early on 
quite early on that there's no possible way that the West Point Mint, that the West Point Mint could keep up with demand. Uh, it's just not possible. And that's what I said. That's for all this silver stuff. So they went to the San Francisco Mint and said, hey, can you give us a hand? Can you make a, a, an emergency production of additional coins? They said, yes, we can. So they made a small quantity, probably going to represent no more than 5 or 10% of the mintage, at the San Francisco Mint. Those are the two coins, mint state coins, that have been released as of right now from the United States government. Those coins are gone. There's not a major dealer in the United States today, I believe, that has one of these coins graded, ungraded, certified, uncertified. It does not matter. This is the coin that created this run. It's not just a run on silver, but it's a run on silver coin. And it is this transition coin, this legacy coin, this end of an era coin. And the thing is, for 239 you get two of these coins. You get the West Point minted coin, and you also get the San Francisco minted coin. And so you get that pair in mint state in absolutely perfect 70. And with our incredible, as you can see, incredible uh, our Lady Liberty core. Here's the problem. I had hoped to have a bunch of these. This has been one of our most popular sellers the one other time I was able to sell it. And then, like I said, this craziness happened over the weekend. I'm just... It doesn't matter. I didn't raise my price, by the way, a penny. Uh, this is this was the price that we decided on. So that's why I'm locked into. I can only sell you the coins I have in, on, on hand, which is what I'm doing. At two hundred and thirty nine dollars, we have three hundred, little over three hundred pairs. After that, if I was to go into the marketplace today and pay what I had to pay in the marketplace, I'm going to be about two seventy nine or two ninety nine on this same exact pair. And that's as of today, as of right now, as of this second. Who knows what tomorrow brings or the end of the week brings or Wednesday brings? We have no idea. All I know is there are not enough coins, and I don't mean by a little bit. I'm talking about by hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. I was telling you earlier, basically every coin dealer I know had the biggest day they've ever had in history today. Today was the biggest coin day in the history of the coin market based on everybody running for silver, trying to buy physical silver. It's not just that they're buying you know, uh, you know, all the options and so on and so forth. They're literally buying physical silver. And you know, some people say, well, we can run the price of this to whatever. I go, I don't know if they can do that or not. All I know is everybody, every single solitaire, I have stuff, silver coins that I haven't sold in six months, I'm out of. Okay, let alone the single most the single most popular the single most popular coin that the United States government makes and it's silver. If perhaps we can, I need the top two coins to both be on the obverse. So show Lady Liberty on the top two coins. Only the bottom coin should uh, show the reverse. Because I want to show you that you get two coins, and one of them's a West Point Mint, one of them's a San Francisco Mint, and I think that's really important to do that. Now, what people always ask me, so how do you get these coins? Because the United States Mint does not sell these coins to the general public. Okay, you get the two coins at the top. They do not sell them to the general public. They go through a series of what are called authorized purchasers, APs. They get these coins in boxes of 500. That's what that green box is in the back there that you see, is that is how people get the coins. They're going to get the, the APs get these in boxes of 500, and then they distribute them preferably in these boxes. They saw I had 339 of these. I'm already down to 289. This will absolutely positively, well, these pairs will 100% sell out. These pairs will 100% sell out. So that's the way you get it. Now, the S mint does not actually have a physical mint mark on it, nor does the W. So when you get one of those green boxes, it's got a strap on it. It's sealed from the United States Mint. And then the United States Mint tells us all of these numbered boxes are San Francisco coins, and all of these numbered boxes are West Point coins. Then those coin boxes have to be sealed, okay, sealed, have got to go to the grading company, and then they open up the 500-count boxes and establish the provenance of that coin, open up the provenance of that coin, and then they are able to put that it's from the West Point Mint or the San Francisco Mint. Well, you get the pair. 
you yeah. get the pair. I, I got to tell and you, Mike. This I mean, is the transition pair. These are the mint state coins released to date by the United States government. Mike, just to interject again, and I, my, my apologies, just because I know we, we've had a lot of new coin collectors for the very first time. I think maybe it is all the news and the headlines that a lot of people, even a superficial reading, and they're like, coin collector, you know, let me tune in and, you know, find out what's going on. Um, we have, thank you for that, Kevin. Kevin's my producer tonight. We, we have the final 200. This is just like that last heraldic proof eagle that we had is selling much 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 faster than we anticipated i mean we knew this was a hit even before the last 48 hours in terms of the silver news broke just be aware as you keep hearing me saying there is no back order there is no wait list um, mike is holding the price we have almost as many people joining us in the various forms of ordering as we do have quantities remain. We'll let you know when that proof heraldic eagle is gone. At this point, I think we have a couple dozen, so there are fewer than 100. Um, so at this point, literally a couple dozen of those. Just remember, you can still shop with confidence, even though all things being equal, and there's a lot going on in coin collecting, there's a lot going on in the world, there's a lot going on with silver prices, you still get our 30-day you know, unconditional return policy. You're also getting flex pay, which is outrageous, especially when you consider what happens in the real world of coin collecting, let alone the fact that we are not limiting quantities. So I just, I referenced some of those, those basic elements of shopping here at HSN, Mike, because, you know, the truth of the matter is, um, whether it's you in terms of you could have adjusted the price higher, HSN could have taken away the flex pays. I mean, we certainly could have reacted as a company, and so you could have do, done the same thing based on recent headlines. The fact it's here, it's available, you get the, the legacy, you get the information, you get the coin, you get the real article, but you only get it if you're one of the next 200 people who join us, right? Yeah, and that's, and that's the thing about this. You have to understand, so I called some of the APs today. Like I said, these authorized purchasers, I said, so I'd like to buy some more coins. When can I expect delivery? They said about three weeks. About three weeks is when I can get my next delivery of coins, if I'm lucky. They said today, one of the guys I talked to, they're one of the biggest of the APs. They're all different, differing sizes. They said, we were told by the United States Mint what our, go our allocation is basically going to be for the rest of the year. And it's going to be about one-fifth of what we anticipate our sales to be. So it's going to be about one-fifth. So the United States Mint is going to be short American silver eagles from now until June. Because understand, they have to start making the new ones, the Type 2s, which is, are you ready for this, the really, really popular ones. They're going to have to start doing all of that manufacturing by April. Okay, by April. So what happens is, is the United States, because they started making these coins in November. Those coins are all gone. November, December, January, those coins, the first three months of production of these coins are gone. There's a wait list that is absolutely, uh, uh, I mean, you can't even imagine how deep the wait list is to be able to get American Silver Eagles as we speak right here. That's not, that's the problem. And what I have got is the pair. Now, here is significantly the problem. Oftentimes, I could say, look, I'll just send some more coins in for grading. All right. And, you know, and they don't grade particularly well either, particularly the S mints. And I'll just bring them back out. And that's at some level what we're going to do. But it won't be two hundred and thirty nine dollars and ninety five cents. If this is any any indication of what's happening in the marketplace, because all of this silver run is based on silver eagles, but it trickles down to everything. Every single silver thing that's a coin, particularly a U.S. coin out there, is being snapped up at absolutely, positively record paces. Hey, at record paces. Mike, I'm so sorry. I have to interject because uh, I don't think you can hear um, our producer, Kevin, like I did. He, no, he's actually okay. going to abbreviate the time, and I'll tell you why. We have more people calling or um, taking reservations on this, and we do have quantities remain. And that's certainly not to be alarmist. It's just to tell you, giddy up. It, you know, you, you know. <laughs> and that's assuming everybody's just buying one. That's exactly right. Uh, as much as I need to say, you need to strike while the iron is hot. I mean, yes, it's important that you watch and you listen and you learn and, you know, you can shop with confidence and 30-day return policy, but you need to order. <laughs> so, right. I mean. Well, when you say, I got, I got 12 dozen left. Basically, I got 12, right. we got 12 dozen sets left. We started with almost 400. There you okay. go. I mean. Well, we started the day with 520. Well, see, okay. and 
and that's why I say, as luck would have it, you're watching tonight, and you know, I I I love to have fun with Mike. I, I do. I miss you. I, like I said, I've known Mike for over two decades. You know, here other networks and everywhere, but you need to understand. Well, if you're in one of the next, well, actually fewer than a hundred, because even with that quantity left, um, as Mike indicated, remember a lot of people are getting more than one. So we are going to get ready to scoot along, grab yours, get it. You, yes, you still get the 30-day return policy, but um, people are snapping this up as they should. I'm glad it, um, Mike um, directed me to turn that other coin around just to remind you the W and the S mints. Flex pay, less than $80 on your credit card. We'll remind you of the other uh, heraldic eagle, that proof, because I think there may be like fewer than one per state. Okay, yeah, fewer than one per state. So um, we'll show you that item number. We've got lots more sellouts and some more stories to tell with some curated uh, picks that Mike, he built, he writes these shows. So uh, Mike, real quickly, if people are channel surfing, I, I think Kevin told me there are only like uh, 40 of these remaining. Anything they should know? Look, it's, it's the most historic coin made by the United States government in the last half century, and it's made out of silver. I think that's, you know, enough said. <laughs> a man of few words? I never would well, have pinned I'm not it. a man of few words. Well, I know, Just but... for that one little <laughs> microcosm of time. <laughs> See, I threw down the gauntlet, and, and you, 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 you raised the bar. What can I say? <laughs> The silver I, raised, I raised something. I don't know if it was the bar. <laughs> <laughs> God, Mike, I love you. All right, well, we are continuing with our coin collector here at HSN. Uh, I'm Shannon. You can probably tell I've known Mike for a long time. And if you're meeting him for the first time, we, yeah, it's not just me. We do call him the king of coins, and he most definitely is. He allows us for 20 years here at HSN, but certainly he's been doing this for decades. But he allows us to do things for you as a coin collector, whether you're an, you know, avid or novice or or newbie or you just sticking around to learn some things. Um, uh, I love doing these shows with Mike because I also love working with Andrew Lessman just because I learn with you. I mean, they really do help provide an, a, a wonderful foundational platform of education. And the other thing that I always say with Mike too is um, coins are really little historic, they're, they're time capsules. They're little nuggets or moments of history. And that's certainly never been more true than this time in coin collecting or in world history. But let's defer to the president's Mike. Uh, tell me a little bit about this one. Well, it's, it's interesting. I mean, as, as much as I've been r rambling on about silver and you know, all that other stuff, this set is way harder to put together than a set of silver eagles. Uh, the United States government started releasing these presidential dollars in 1907. They made four per year all the way on out uh, uh, until they finished the collection uh, with Ronald Reagan. Uh, they finished the, uh, the yeah they finished that collection with Ronald Reagan. There were 39 coins in the entire collection, uh, and these are all, they were only done four per year. That None of them were ever released into circulation. So you literally had to have somebody that put these away, Jim Brilliant on circulated coins, four times per year from 2007 all the way through 2016. Now, one of the things to be on a coin, the reason there's only 40, is that to be on a coin, you, you have to be deceased. And it was a 39-coin set for a while, and then uh, uh, President Bush, uh, Herbert Walker Bush, passed relatively uh, recently, I mean, uh, within recent memory, and they actually went back and made a coin for him. And so he's the last, uh, the last president in the set right now. And so there's 40 presidents in here. And so this spans an entire decade. Uh, every coin is gem brilliant uncirculated. And you're paying, what is this, about four bucks a coin at the end of the day for gem brilliant uncirculated coins. And you have several of these that, that, like I said, they never made these coins for circulation. So you can get up at the bank or the post office after 2007, the 2000 seven coins were actually put into circulation, but the rest weren't. And so what you've got here is this tremendous opportunity to own the complete collection in two boxes. Every one of the coins is an airtight holder. By the way, those little airtight holders are 59 cents a piece. 40 of those times 60 cents, 25 bucks with the boxes, 35, $45 worth of packaging here. So by the time you do that, you're more like $3 a coin across the board, and there's nothing else to collect. This is the entire 40-coin collection. It is indeed. And then when I, I said every um, 
every coin show, even prior to everything that's going on, is like a little nugget. It's like a little bit of e-learning for me, where we learn a little bit of something, something. So uh, this is also included with your purchase. I mean, it's a it's a little thing, but it but it's not. I just I like that it's especially if you're giving coins as a gift, uh, in particular to a young person. Mike, you know this is true. I actually got my niece and nephew started on coin collecting thanks yeah. to you, and it's a really wonderful way to to keep paying these legacies and these history lessons uh, forward, regardless of what happens as we move through 2021 and beyond. And, you know, you really do, you are very thoughtful, not only in how you build these shows, but you really do think of our collectors. And the, the way these are sealed, they're preserved, they're presented, they're, it's a whole collection, as you say. You don't have to go out there and try to, to piecemeal things together. It's nice that you really do think about your customer um, or the person old and new alike. And this is a, a great way to do that. Well, and, and for this, I don't want to, and I was talking really because I'm a historian by trade, actually. I mean, that's what I went to school for, although I've only ever sold coins. And I talked about the history part, which fascinates me so much. But from a numismatic standpoint, these are 40 of the rarest coins put out by the U.S. Mint because they were never released into circulation. They were only available in bags and rolls. The individual coins were never sold. And so that's the problem to be able to get these coins. And that's why you don't see entire sets of these, particularly for a price like $179.95 that comes in with all of the packaging and all the display and everything else. Like I said, one call gets them all. They're exceptionally rare. They are all sold out limited editions. So you can't, the government's not making any of these coins anymore. So great opportunity from historic and numismatic uh, uh, perspective. And, and one call gets them all. I like that. Right. And it's also <laughs> on FlexPay of $59.98. Interest-free payments, 30-day return policy. Okay, don't say we didn't warn you. Kevin, is it official? Official, official? Okay, the proof, heraldic eagle, gone, 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 gone. So thank you so much for your orders there. And then how are we doing on the W and the S uh, mint? Okay, we've got three dozen, three dozen, <laughs> three dozen of that W and S mint uh, selection. So you feeling lucky? Join us on hsn.com. There you go. <laughs> you know, feeling lucky. <laughs> All right, Mike Mikitzak, of course, is joining us. And, and when I said he really thinks of you, the end collector, um, novice and avid alike. And, and Mike, now we're moving into territory where, uh, you, you, again, I, I love the education that you provide. I, I would venture to say for our avid collectors out there, this is, this is obviously something that will appeal to them and that they would like. But I'm curious to know the story. First of all, gold. You had me at gold, but I will defer to you with all the details, my friend. Yeah, this is uh, this was pretty simple at the end of the day. And, and this is, uh, and, and I actually have information that I picked up three or four or five hours ago uh, to talk in other dealers. What I, I basically pace around my house all day long and talk to the coin geeks uh, is what happens. So the United States government has been so far behind in terms of making silver eagles that they're kind of required by law to make gold coins, but they're not required by law to make a bunch of them. And as a matter of fact, when you look at this, I've got only seven of these of the 21 remaining. So this is going to go pretty quickly. So first of all, they're making these at a rate that's about 70 percent less than we thought they were going to. And what has become abundantly clear? abundantly clear is as they've made these gold coins, they have done so in a kind of a slipshod kind of fashion. I had a, uh, a good friend of mine who, who grades and certifies coins. He bought 5,000, 5,000 $5 gold eagles and sent them in for certification. Okay. He got zero seventy. He then bought 500 one-ounce coins, the same size as this coin, sent them in for certification, got zero 70s. Because you have to buy the box. You can't look at the coin ahead of time, get the sealed box, send them in to the grading company. So what's happened is, is those were the regular silver eagles. Well, this is the Buffalo Eagle, which is even rarer because it's the only, it's the only 24 karat gold coin made by the United States government on an annual basis. The regular American silver eagle is about 22 carats, 9005 is what we're going to have. And so, like I said, this coin not only is gold, and, and 
as silver's gone crazy, it's kind of reluctantly grabbed uh, gold and drug it along behind it uh, on the upswing as well. So you've got this is an ounce of pure gold. It's certified 70. It's uh, so the, the gold coins are very difficult to get. They're grading very, very poorly. It's why I only have 21 and we have seven and only seven. In remains. fact, you know what, Mike, and I hate to put you on pause. Deke, do you have like just a regular like coin in your pocket? Does anybody on the set like uh, just a, a dime or a quarter or anything? And the reason I say that is, uh, listen, my butt looks a lot bigger on TV than hopefully it looks in person. Um, but <laughs> as they say, objects in mirror are, are, are larger than they, th this is a bit, this is a lot of gold. There's gold in them that are, you know, sealed containers. I was just actually going to try to sneak in a regular sized um, coin currency just to kind of, well, you know what, I'll put my, my, my big old sausage hand in there. I mean, does that put it in per perspective? <laughs> By the way, regular coins are hard to come by. Have you seen those signs? Like even at the drugstore, it's like, if you've got any coins, please, we need coins. They can't make change. They, they, they can't, can't make, change. make change. Let alone, let alone gold and silver rarities. <laughs> they right. can't make dimes and nickels and pennies and quarters, you know? Right. See, okay. Well, if, if that helps at least put it uh, in scale. Um, and again, normally I've got, you know, my purse and pockets, but I, I just want you to see th there's a lot of gold there. And, and Mike, that, that's not to completely disrupt the, the, the train of command here, but you know, with only like a half dozen of these, I just wanted everybody to see just from the size and the scale and the amount of gold, let alone um, the, the coin collecting story. I mean, that's a big, bold, beautiful, coin. It is on 12-month VIP financing as well. So if you do have an HSN card, that actually means you can create 12 interest-free flex pays, for lack of a better word, at uh, $325. Um, Mike, I know they're playing the music. Anything else? Sorry, I just need to show how big it was. Uh, like sorry. Said, it's gold. It's, it's perfect gold. Of course, gold's almost always perfect, but it's certified perfect, a limited edition, a uh, first day of issue exclusive to us here at HSN. Only 21 coins in existence. We have five for me. Okay, well, there you go. Uh, also, that red oak presentation box included as well. It's really a historic, like a museum piece. Here's another one. Don't say that we didn't warn you you about the W and S mint. Um, it, Kevin, it's official, right? That's also gone. Yeah. So there's that little surprising no one. Yeah. <laughs> Mike's like, <laughs> surprising no one. The Karnak of coins knew that was going well, to no, happen. Travis, before the show, I say with all the silver and everything, I think I'm just going to sleep in and let uh, Shannon handle this by herself. Tonight. Okay, now that that would also be known as my last day on HSN, so <laughs> don't you dare. You grab another Diet Coke or whatever it takes. All right, well, you grab whatever it's going to take. Mike has more great opportunities coming up. Stay tuned. I found it in Peru, China, Morocco, an amethyst mine in the middle of nowhere. Every day is a new adventure. We go right to the mines. You can actually show people, okay, this is how it all starts. And every rough material you get is like opening a Christmas present. You're able to sculpt it, make it into something that's really unique, very special, very limited. And I think that that's what people love. They know the history of it. Here at HSN, we base our retail values on nationwide information. Retail value is an indication of the price you would expect to pay for the same or similar item elsewhere, not the price at which you would be able to sell the item. Prices do vary around the country, so ours might be different from prices in your area. For more information, call one of our customer service reps at 1-800-284-3900. Monday here at HSN. I'm Shannon. I, I will kick back and relax because we have for you the coin collecting and uh, a coin collector here at HSN. Of course, the Karnak of coins, the king of coins. <laughs> well, I got to do the impersonation. See, we're in the same age category. It's like coming up. I see a sellout. <laughs> anyway. I, I'm glad that, you know, part of my job is always to make you at least chuckle at least once during oh, each I show. Oh, I always do shit. You've been doing that for, 
for a quarter century now. Exactly. We were both teenagers. We were. We were. <laughs> I love you. gilding the lily indeed. All right. Well, let's jump in. We've had a busy show. We've already had two sellouts. We anticipate lots more. Um, so once more, one of the things you always provide is a lot of education. So let's start with the basics on this one. Oh, wow. Hey, it's on sale, too. Well, it's on sale. It has the four coin grading certificate, the Red Oak presentation box, your last opportunity with a, basically $100 worth of bonuses, but here's the key to this. Not only is it an ICG, first day of issue, is exclusive, that's here at HSN. So it's a silver coin we've, we've put on sale, $20 off, nobody else on the planet can say that. We've continued to have all of our bonuses, over $100 worth of bonuses, $80 worth of coin certifications, $24.95 in a Red Oak presentation box. All of that is part of it. But here is the real behind-the-scenes deal with this coin. This coin is the only coin we have in the show that comes with an auto ship. When you buy this coin tonight, you are guaranteed, are you ready? You're guaranteed the Type 2 coin. You're guaranteed the type two coin that you're going to see right there. So what that means is, is remember I talked to you about how the type two is doing everything. You know, that's going to be the coin. It's the only coin where we offer when you buy it here tonight, we are guaranteeing you when the new coin comes out in July that you're going to get that coin. We have done that in the past with a few of the other coins. We've had to stop that in essence because what's happened out there, and that's the look of the type two. That's the new eagle in flight. So this way, you guarantee both the transition coins. You know, the old coin, the legacy coin, and then the brand new coin when you do your auto ship. Now, of course, if you don't want that type two coin, that's fine. You can cancel. You can do that. You, you know what I'm saying? You're under no obligation. The obligation is ours. The opportunity is yours. So you get this coin, the West Point Minute coin, which in and of itself, the fact that I haven't raised the price on this is truly amazing in every respect that you're going to do, and you get the $100 worth of bonuses, and we guarantee, we guarantee the Type 2 coin when it comes out in June, July, August, whenever the government puts it out in there, the only coin in the show where I can guarantee you the auto ship with the second coin. Okay, that's pretty amazing. Um, once more, though, very, very limited. And you'll forgive this analogy, and it might cut a little too close to home, but it just popped into my head. Uh, in Minnesota, to get the vaccine, there's a lottery, and then there's a wait list. My parents are on a wait list, and then my mom was talking about this lottery. And I said, well, Mom, you want the wait list because you know eventually you're going to get it. The lottery is a lottery. <laughs> the, you know, the lottery is a lottery. You know, right. uh, uh, an auto ship is a guarantee. And right. so when I, when I look at things in the bigger perspective, and again, I, I'm sorry if that cuts too close to home and it's just a real life or a real world example for me, what you do is ensure, ensure that you get what we want, when we want it, at you know a price that is not exorbitant and the flex pay and the 30-day return policy and by the way $80 worth of grading certificate um, uh, for coins whatever you got at home so this is really a remarkable opportunity us uh, even if it weren't on sale isn't it yeah, well, you understand, you know, we debuted this a couple of weeks ago, uh, two or three weeks ago. Uh, we debuted this. We're down to, uh, we're well over half sold through the entire quantity. But understand, what's happened in the marketplace, the fact that all the w minute coins, all the s minute coins, all the coins, all the Silver Eagles are gone. Silver has gone absolutely positively crazy. You would assume that we would raise our price. As a matter of fact, we've kept it on sale. At least you'd think we'd take it to the HSN price, but right now, today, is our last day at sale price. Now, after this, we will take it to the HSN price, but even with everything going on, with silver, with silver eagles, with the transition of the American silver eagle from the old design to the new design, we have held the price, we've kept it on sale, we've kept the bonuses in place, and we've kept the auto ship in place so that you're guaranteed the Type 2 coin as well, so you're guaranteed Teed that brand new type two coin as well when you buy this coin. Okay, Mike, and I apologize that I'm, I'm, I'm asking you this live on the air, but so wait a minute. If they do the auto ship, they still get that 119 price? Yes, that's correct. Do they really? See, even, yeah. even though I'm reading that on my flow sheet, I didn't 
not that I don't trust my planners, but I don't trust myself. How about that? I mean, because I thought, do they really mean to say that next shipment is also at that sale price? Wow. Yeah, yeah so that's, that, that's really what we're looking at right here. That's really what, what the opportunity is in a lot of way, and more so than when I debuted this coin. It was always a big part of the thing, being able to be guaranteed the type two, to get it at the very front of what is going to be a considerable, considerable line. Okay, a considerable line. You are going to be guaranteed to get that coin. You have to understand, you're going to be able to get the one and the type two at a guaranteed price. Uh, it may be a little foolish in essence on our part, but the fact is, is you've got the coin, it's on its way to you, and then you'll get the type two 100%, 100% guaranteed. Wow, at the sale price. I mean, that's... Right. Gosh, I know I keep going back to that, but that's 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 a new one on me. I don't know why they did that, but definitely take advantage of it for sure. And, and remember that st that does not negate our 30-day return policy, even um, once you get that that future shipment, which you're guaranteed. So just kind of keep that all in perspective. Hey, it, it, we're we're turning to the page to a brand new hour here at HSN, and you know we're making your Monday bright, even if you had a little rain, a little stormy forecast like we did in Tampa, St. Petersburg in the last 24 hours. Well. Um, Mike Mizak is helping to clear those clouds and, you know, clear the chaos when it comes to what's been happening in silver and coin collecting. He curates these shows. He handpicks these shows. It's a rare primetime edition. If you were with us last hour, we had two big sellouts. We're anticipating a lot more in this hour as well. Don't hang up on that last opportunity.